We've gotten a lot of the tough work out of the way. We have a game object class that we can use to represent any 3D object with position, rotation, and scale, and we can draw any game object we create on the screen. Let's make a game object that we can control with the controller or keyboard. That'll get us on the way toward being able to shoot missiles anywhere in the 3D world. This object will be the missile launcher head. It will sit on top of the missile launcher base and will be able to rotate within certain constraints that we'll set. Get right to it. Scroll to the top of game1.cs where you declare the variables and right below game object missile launcher base equals new game object add the following game object missile launcher head equals new game object like the rest of the objects this too is a game object and will initialize its model and parameters in the same place we did the others load content once inside load content Look for where you initialize the model and scale for Missile Launcher Base, and below that, add this code. Missile Launcher Head dot model equals content dot load model quote models backslash backslash launcher underscore head quote Missile Launcher Head dot scale equals 0.2f Missile launcher head dot position equals missile launcher base dot position plus new vector three zero point zero f twenty point zero f zero point zero f. The only thing new about this code is that we now set a non zero position and we set it in a new way by adding the current position of the missile launcher base to a new vector 3. Vector 3s have a wide range of mathematical functions. They can be added to one another, subtracted from one another, scaled, and more. These two vector 3s are being added together. Think of it as 20 units up from the position of the missile launcher base. That will sit the head of the missile launcher right on top of the base. Next step, making the missile launcher head respond to input.